Dawson Mercer of the Drum and Voltage, you're joining me here in Dawson. Uh, great to see you. Congratulations on your start and congratulations on your, your performance in the Canada Russia Series. Tell me a little bit about the, that experience. Yeah, well, obviously, it's an honor to represent just Team Canada in general in your country, but also going down to the QMJHL and also Drummondville and just my little town back home. Confidence, critical to a player. Tell me about where your confidence is and, and, and if indeed it's growing. Yeah, you, you obviously, a player needs confidence in the game. That's when you're going to perform at your highest. So without that, the uh, player's game is going to decrease, obviously. But I like to play with confidence out there. You know, I, I know my variety of my skills and my game set and the way I play the game. So I'm just going to bring that every night. Just to, obviously, I'm going to give my team the best chance to win out there. Offensively, he's he's taken the team on his shoulders, something that uh, he wasn't used to doing in previous years because there were other guys around him. Um, but he's definitely the, the guy this year. So that's new for him. Um, he's doing extremely well, and uh, he's definitely leading the way. What, what do you want to accomplish this year personally? Yeah, well, I feel like every player's end goal is just to make it to the NHL and have a career there. So that's where I want, I'm want. i looking at it, and obviously with a new group of guys this year, it's that mindset of just improving every day in Drummond. So with those guys and our leadership group, we want to just improve those young guys and let them transition into the league well. And it, it's going to reflect on us and make us a better player and better person in general. So just turned 18 there now, and then the U20 comes up for the next two years of players. And that's kind of what the Canada Russia series is uh, looked at for and all the, they're there scouting and, you know, but they're, they're looking at you during the year. And I just wanted to make sure I showed my game within those two games that my game's not going to change when I play against those high level Russian players or against anyone. My game's going to stay complete and stay the way it is. So I, I just wanted to show them who I was. Many feel you're, you're certainly worthy of a first-round selection this coming summer in the NHL draft. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's, a, it's obviously an honor just for the work put in the, these last few years and obviously my full life, the dedication put, put into the game for hockey, just moving away at a young age at 14 to pursue my career. But that's a decision I wanted to make for my end goal of obviously wanting that career. So I'm, I'm happy with everything I've uh, sacrificed for my career. Left a very good impression um, in those two games. He was the Q's, one of the top players, definitely. Um, I think he's opening up some eyes. Uh, he's, he's surprising a lot of people, but we're not surprised because we've seen him for the last three months dominate uh, every single day, really. So uh, nothing surprises us there, but I definitely think it's, uh, it's something that uh, he'll be able to, uh, to attain. Number of scouting services projecting him as a first rounder this uh, summer? I've seen mid first or late first. Uh, is he is he uh, deserving of a first first round pick? Definitely. He's a first round pick in my opinion. Um, I know the NHL Central Scouting changed their, their rating recently uh, from a, a B to an A uh, because of a few games he had against other, other players that were ranked A. So he definitely belongs in that group um, and I'm sure he's even going to get better from, from now on and he'll be, once, once the draft arrives, um, He'll definitely be in there.